St. Matthews. I'm Grace. And I'm Janice. And this is another St. Matthews CCD update. In today's gospel, Jesus talks to us about eternal life and how to achieve it. Rosie, take it away with today's gospel. Just as Moses lifted up the serpent into the desert, <laughs> so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that all who believe may have eternal life in him. Yes, God so loved the world that he gave to his only Son, that whoever believes in him may, may not die. But, have, but may have eternal life. God did not send, send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world may, might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him that avoids condemnation, but whoever does not believe is already condemned. For, for not believing in the name of God's only Son, the judgment of condemnation is this. The light came into the world, but men loved darkness rather than light, because their deeds were wicked. Everyone who practices evil hates the light. He does not come near it. For his fears, his deeds will be exposed. But he who acts in truth comes into the light to make clear that his deeds are done in God. Thanks, Rosie. That le reading leads us to some important questions. What is eternal life? What does it mean to be saved? And how can we, as Catholics, make up for our evil deeds? For answers, we went to Father Joseph. Uh, what does it mean to be saved? What does it mean to be saved? It means that we, we uh, decide to follow Jesus, then we are baptized, and then we walk in his footsteps and follow exactly the, the, the example that he, he sets for us, that we change our ways, our behaviors, to, to, be, to make them more like, it, like his, his life, his behaviors, his attitudes, okay? What does the church teach us about internal life? Well, what, that's what the church teaches, is what Jesus taught us, that after this earthly journey is over, that we, we are given the gift of eternal life. But the gift of eternal life is given to us not only after we die, but the moment we become God's children. That's the gift that God offers us, to understand that beyond this earthly journey, there is another, another life that, that is awaiting, uh, awaiting for us. And that's our true inheritance, eternal life, that he, Jesus invites us to inherit and to, to share forever. All right? How can Catholics make up for their evil deeds? For their evil deeds? Exactly by what Jesus told us, repentance, changing, making amends, forgiving, you know, being people that he called us to be. That's why he died on the cross, because even on the cross, Jesus showed us the ultimate idol of forgiveness when he prayed for those who crucified him. So uh, that, that's what it, what's important, that we, that we change our attitudes, our behaviors, and make them make sure that they reflect the gospel message and the message of Jesus, okay? I think we all learned something about the road to eternal life with Jesus. We certainly have. Thanks for the, to Father Joseph and everyone involved with today's show. We'll see you next week with another St. Matthew's CCD update.